The flash of the leaves, moving through the trees, the fourth Hokage, that's my What up, design champions? This is what you're going to want to start with. Make however many buildings you want to appear on your island. Just make them uh, basic shapes in the profile view like this. Then once you've done that, Make sure to unite all your buildings. So select it, go to shape modes, and hit unite. Unite us together. Okay, and you can actually do all of them at once if you're uh, lazy. Slash efficient, but then it puts everything into a group and you have to go control shift G to ungroup. All right, so this is the step you want to have all your buildings one shape but separated. Um, now, color your buildings. I'm going to get rid of my owl outline. I'll hit none on that. And then I'm actually going to make all the buildings on the left a darker gray, ones in the middle a medium gray. And also you can tell that I've made all the buildings that I want in the front row to be shorter, the ones in the middle to be a little bit taller, and the ones in the back to be tallest. I think it just makes it a little bit easier to see. So uh, let's find a color for these guys on the right. Just make kind of a light grayish building and <laughs> not building um, color and then a little bit darker that's quite a bit darker and then dark dark cast dark cast something like that we should lighten this up the boom boom okay perfect now here is the moment of magic that we've all been waiting for actually duplicate these so we can come back if we ever need them so just uh, hold hold alt while you drag those out okay here is the moment of magic. Are you ready? I was born ready. Effect 3D. 3D, Extrude, and Bavel. Now, once we're in this little uh, panel opens up, there's a lot of prefab options. What I like is isometric right. Hit preview if you want to see it. Cool. And uh, if all your buildings were like this, they would definitely blow over in the wind. So you can make them thicker by changing the extrude depth. I'm going to make these guys about 250. Hopefully that will give a nice little square look to them. And of course, you can change their sizes individually. If you want to uh, take a little bit longer and, and uh, do them individually, like for instance, I could do this one, uh, Effect 3D, Extrude and Bevel. And then I could make this guy like 600, make him into kind of a hall way so uh, you can do that but I want all mine to be the same Z's so here are my buildings but I don't want them to be this I want them to be editable and right now they're not editable so I couldn't change just one face of the building so I'll select them all and go object expand appearance yeah there we go now if I want to change one panel I can just click into it and then move it around or change the color all right, cool. So we have all of our buildings. Let's make them a little bit más poquito. Perfect. And uh, let's zoom in. I think they're, well, maybe that's a good size. A little bit smaller. Okay, what we need now is some ground, a floor. So hit M to get the box tool. We need the earth. Let's create the earth. Let's make it a nice greeny grass color because this is a thriving metropolis that's very friendly for the environment carbon emissions i don't know pretty high still i don't know how to get them down okay wow that is bright it's all right whenever you 3d extrude stuff they get a little bit darker now what i want is to make some rows of roads so let's make the road like maybe darker than the buildings and uh we'll make two of them Something like this. I'm not going to make it a perfect grid because I don't live my life in pursuit of perfection. I live my life in pursuit of practice. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> and then I'm going to make uh, two more of these guys. Control C, Control F. I just copied those on top of themselves. Hit O, click and drag. And then you can just make a copy like that. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine slots for my nine buildings perfect we could turn this into an isometric game of a uh, tic-tac-toe all right now i'm going to uh just scale these down hold alt so you can get both sides make sure that they stop at the edges of our earth because we don't want our roads going further than our island platform yeah that could technically be cool actually i'm gonna move this guy over a little bit all right so now you can actually make this whole thing 3D 
but you have to group it. So hit control G. Uniting all of our gray lines together will go like that. And they're all in one big group. Select it and go effect, 3D, extrude, and bevel. Let's go isometric top, preview that. And you see why we have this big gray thing in the middle there? We don't want that. So uh, just make the extrude depth a little bit taller and we can get rid of that thing and then hit OK. Now uh, let's object expand appearance so we can make it just a little bit more editable. Select the whole thing, shrink it down some, and then we can make like a little earth platform. So hit P for the pen tool. We'll just start in the right corner and we'll go maybe, yeah, maybe like over here and then to the left side, connect that, move that to the back, command shift left bracket. We'll make it uh, kind of a brown. We'll make the right side a lighter brown. And then go from the middle there to the bottom of the triangle to the left side and complete that shape. And we'll make that guy darker, go down into the right. And now we have our little platform. Maybe let's, uh, let's switch it up a little bit more like that looks better. Okay, cool. Now let's just place our buildings, you know? If you want to command shift right bracket to bring it to the front. If you want them perfectly in the corner, then uh, put them perfectly in the corner. But if you want them out of ways, do something like that. I'm going to put that guy in the corner for surezies. Let's uh, put him here. Or maybe... Maybe something like that in that corner. Well, nah, that's too close to the other guy. Let's put him in the middle. And then this guy is going to be on the far edge. Something like that. Now we'll do the next middle row here. So we actually want him. Oh, we should have gone for the buildings on the right side first. That would have made sense. Yeah, we can still solve that. So I'm going to put that guy, select all of these guys, bring them to the front. Get this guy going maybe here. As a Department of Finance, nobody wants him anyways. Oh my gosh. Collecting all the taxes. Bro, I don't, I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay, you know. I'm supposed to live in the land of the free. Okay, uh, now we got this guy. This guy will be back a little ways from the edge. Put these two in front of him. And then the final building, this guy right here. Command shift right bracket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll put him on the edge. He's living life on the, on the edge, that's for sure. Okay, cool. Um... Okay, so that is how to make an isometric city. If you want to get a little bit more abstract with it, then you can definitely make things like uh, this. This is just a gradient applied to all the buildings. This is how to 403K, because we're 2K better than the regular folks trying to get to their 401K. Basic, bro. Uh, this is just very simple colors, all the same color. Enter the game. Oh, let's play. What do we do? We build the city and that'd be fun. Uh, there's another thing I made, which is could be like an infographic or something about uh, Los Angeles, city of Los Angeles in the United States of America. Okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked it, hit the like. And also, if you subscribe, then you get me one step closer to to getting to escaping from the lower echelon where I toil in the, the gutter of design. <laughs> okay, that was dramatic. Just subscribe if, if, if you want to see more content. Okay, talk to you later, alligator, and stay awesome, possum.